In today's video, meet the heaviest woman to have ever lived and the heaviest human ever in general. First though, let's meet the man who was, at one time, the heaviest man alive. Mills Darden Mills Darden is listed in the Guinness World Book of Records as one of the world's largest men who ever lived. He was about seven and a half feet tall, and by the time he had passed, he weighed about a thousand pounds. It was quite difficult to find this man's background, as soon after he had passed, he became somewhat of a local legend, and many tales were spun about him, making it very difficult to separate fact from fiction. One such story was regarding his birth and his name. According to the story, the baby Mills was found crying abandoned in a mill by an African-American woman, thus his first name. We know this not to be true because we do have records of who his actual birth father is. In 1845, at the age of 46, he weighed 871 pounds, but he continued to grow in size. Finally, about 1853, he moved to the country about eight miles southwest of Lexington, where he lived until his death at 1857 at the age of 56. Kenneth Brumley Kenneth Brumley was so big and so heavy, he was basically unable to do anything for himself. That includes walking or even washing himself. At his heaviest, he weighed a whopping 1,034 pounds and became widely known because of the documentary Half Ton Dad, which featured him. It was reported that Kenneth ate around 30,000 calories a day. Mind you, that's the amount of food a normal-sized man would consume in two weeks. The documentary showed him being rescued from his house in Texas. Firefighters saw him lying on a floor because his bed broke due to his immense weight. Firefighters also had to tear down a wall from his house just to get him to the hospital, as he was too wide to fit into any of the other doors. In the hospital, he was then put on a strict diet, underwent gastric bypass surgery, and further surgery to remove the large folds of fat that enveloped his body. This resulted in him losing a good amount of weight, around 154 pounds in a matter of just weeks. He was even able to stand on his own for the first time in 15 years. Unfortunately, though, he did fall under the radar as soon as filming of the documentary stopped. We well, can really just hope that he continued on his weight loss journey, and I wish him the best. Robert Earl Hughes Born in a tiny town in Illinois called Fishhook, Robert Earl Hughes was thrust into fame when he became the world's heaviest man. This is after a malfunctioning pituitary gland caused his body to pack on weight at an uncontrollable pace. His chest was measured at 10 feet and he weighed between 1,041 to 1,069 pounds at his heaviest, making him the world's heaviest man to have ever lived during his lifetime. He was always sort of big, weighing around 440 pounds when he was only 6 years old, and by the time he was 10, he already weighed a staggering 837. Being the way he was, he made a living by making appearances at carnivals and fairs. He was even slated to appear on the Ed Sullivan Show, but plans fell through. He contracted measles, which developed into uremia, and then died at the age of 32. Patrick Duell Like many on this list, Nebraska's Patrick Duell suffered from weight problems his entire life. He was diagnosed as obese when he was only four years old, and by the time he was in high school, he already weighed over 400 pounds. Mind you, he was also a very active boy, he even joined the Eagle Scouts. His biggest issue was he just couldn't seem to stop eating. Over the years, his weight just kept on increasing, so much so that he wasn't able to stand and leave his house for a period of five years. During this time, he weighed a staggering 1,072 pounds. He was actually so heavy that his weight was crushing his internal organs. In fact, if he lay on his back, he couldn't breathe because his lungs wouldn't expand. He had to be taken to the hospital, and through the combination of a strict diet and gastric bypass surgery, he was able to lose over 600 pounds. However, he soon quit dieting and regained most of his weight back. He then died in 2016 at the age of 54 due to complications stemming from his extreme obesity. Michael Hebronko Michael Hebronko was the perfect example of a yo-yo dieter. Someone who will lose a ton of weight, then just get it all back up again. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Michael at one time held the Guinness World Record for being the heaviest man in the entire world, with his weight peaking at 1,102 pounds. His condition has given him dark thoughts and even contemplated on taking his own life. Thankfully, he didn't and sought the help of fitness guru Richard Simmons. He started exercising and watched his diet and began to lose weight. Despite all the improvements, though, Simmons did suggest that he check himself into a hospital which was very fortunate because he soon suffered a heart attack while in said hospital. After seven months in the hospital, Hebronko lost about 500 pounds, and in a year he lost 780 pounds after that. 
At his best, he went down to an impressive 198 pounds. However, he did go back to his old eating habits and weighed 550 pounds by the time he had passed away in 2013. Rosalie Bradford When Rosalie Bradford was just six months old, she was abandoned by her mother, leaving her babysitter to raise her. She said that was the cause of her food addiction and sent her life into a downward spiral, which eventually led to her being recognized as the heaviest woman in the world. At that point, she weighed 1,199 pounds. She would re-enter the record books just two years later, but this time it was because of over 730 pounds, thus gaining the distinction of being the woman who have lost the most weight. Her weight loss journey began when she sought the help of Richard Simmons, who in turn befriended her and made sure she stuck to the diet plan that he sent her. Being a food addict, Bradford binged on potato chips, pretzels, and cheese, consuming at least 10,000 calories a day. Although she lost a lot of weight, she would soon gain some of it back. Rosalie was over 400 pounds when she died in 2006. Walter Hudson Walter Hudson was the fattest man in the world when he got stuck in his bathroom door in 1987 and had to be extricated by the local fire department. At the time, he weighed 1,200 pounds. Walter had been a fat child. At the age of 12, he weighed 200 pounds. While that's certainly an obese weight, it's nowhere near the behemoth that he became when he got stuck in his bathroom door. But his rapid weight gain had its origins during that time. When he was 12, he fell and broke a leg. His injury left him bedridden. By the time he was 15, he weighed 300 pounds and he never left his home again. His typical breakfast was composed of 32 link sausages, a pound of bacon, a dozen eggs, a loaf of bread with grape jelly, and an entire pot of coffee. Lunch was two large sandwiches, a pile of fried potatoes, and a large bottle of soda. And then at dinner, it was four or five ham steaks, a half dozen potatoes, a half dozen cobs of corn, a bottle of soda, and an apple pie. Of course, this doesn't include the numerous in-between meal snacks. He died on Christmas Eve 1991 and was so heavy that a forklift was used to lower his coffin into the ground. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Which is definitely the fattest person I've ever seen. This blob, however, is not a real person, but rather the character Pearl from the movie Blade. But as you may have assumed by now, a lot of people can reach these gargantuan portions. Carol Yeager Beating Rosalie Bradford for the title of Fattest Woman Ever is Carol Yeager, who at her heaviest weighed 1,202 pounds. Carol was born in Flint, Michigan in January of 1960, living most of her adult life in the town of Beecher, six miles north of Flint. Carol made seemingly endless calls to weight specialists, hospitals, and medical centers for some kind of help. But when they found out she weighed over 1,000 pounds, they balked and refused their services. In January of 1993, after not being able to walk for nine months, Carol was finally admitted to Hurley Medical Center. She had to be helped out of her house by no less than 15 firefighters. They rolled her up in a tarp, slid her down a hill, and placed her on the floor of the ambulance for the ride to the hospital. After three months of being on a restricted calorie diet, she weighed about 668 pounds. Sadly, though, she gained the weight faster than she lost it, so by the time she passed away in 1994, she weighed an even 1,200. Manuel Uribe At his peak weight of 1,316 pounds, Manuel couldn't even get up from his bed, much less walk around. He remained to be one of the most extreme cases of morbid obesity known to medical science. He tried every single kind of diet imaginable, but still continued to gain the pounds, which prompted him to publicly ask for help in 2006 in a Mexican TV network. An outpouring of support came after this, and he was able to shed about 510 pounds, which is enough for him to find love and even get married. Heck, his wedding was even the subject of the Discovery Channel's documentary, The World's Heaviest Man Gets Married in 2009. However, like most extreme cases of morbid obesity, Manuel soon gained most of his weight back. And although he didn't reach the 1,300 pound threshold again, he died in May 2014, weighing 869 pounds. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. He does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. John Brower Minock. John Brower Minock holds the distinction of being the heaviest human to have ever lived. Bar none, ever. Mr. Minock was born on September 29, 1941 in Bainbridge Island, Washington. He had a hard childhood because of his obesity. 
Minog's health fluctuated a lot over his life. When he was only 12 years old, he weighed close to 300 pounds, and in his early 20s, he was over 6 feet tall and close to 400. By the time he was 25 years old, he was around 700. Then, by the age of 35, he weighed over 975 pounds and was on his way to setting a world record. By the time 1978 rolled around, he was about 36 years old and experiencing some serious health complications. He was admitted to the University Hospital in Seattle for cardiac and respiratory failure. Took over a dozen firemen and a very large and very specific stretcher to get him to the hospital. Once he arrived, he needed 13 nurses in a double-wide hospital bed just to be able to lie down. In the hospital, his massive size prevented him from being weighed accurately. However, the doctors who were working on him estimated that he was 1,400 pounds. Roughly 900 of those pounds were excess fluid. He did manage to lose a lot of that weight, though, around 925 pounds of it. This was due to him being put on a strict 1,200-calorie diet for 20 months. This feat also landed him in the record books, the largest human weight loss that's ever been recorded. See you all next time!